Hello, everybody. My name is Steph, and welcome back to Steph and Her Sims, where the Sims come to life. Mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> Today has been one of the most difficult builds. I, keep, I feel like I keep saying that every new episode, but it's true. I feel like I, the houses keep getting smaller and stall, smaller, and I want keep wanting to put more and more stuff in it. It's just, it's just an oxymoron. I swear, just making no sense. <laughs> but today we have this beautiful boathouse that we're going to get into. But first, we have to meet the inhabitants of said boathouse. So may I introduce you to our first character today? His name is Ray Quinn. He has been with his partner, Remy, for over 10 years now, but they were married legally in 2015. Yay, pride! <laughs> Ray is a chef specializing in making recipes and cocktails for cookbooks, hence all the drink carts you're going to see everywhere in their home. He is just not... He is just a super bubbly and outgoing person. It's just all around happy and always up for adventuring. He's really quite a goofball and is kind of ditzy. <laughs> and so his husband, um, Remy, really, really m makes up for that in being the adult part of the relationship. So um, he really doesn't have a calm or quiet bone in his body. And he's just an animal lover, although he's allergic to most of them, including his two cats, which we'll get into soon. And all around, he just loves having fun and being goofy and drinking and eating and just really wants to spend his life traveling the globe with friends and family by his side. Now, we're going to get into Mr. Quinn. Well, Remy Quinn. The last name is Quinn. Remy is much more quiet and subtler than, uh, and subdued too than Ray. He is a strong but silent type. He likes to listen rather than talk, but and Ray usually does most of the talking. And although he doesn't show it constantly, he loves to adventure too. He is an architect and spends his days drawing houses for clients and designing three people's dream houses. He is a water lover loves anything to do with water, can spend hours upon hours in any body of water. And that's where he's truly happy and just a complete goofball. He loves all of Ray's cooking. And although living on the boathouse in being such close quarters, they do get in each other's spaces and pester each other. They pick themselves back up. And by the end of the day, they just move on knowing that they still love each other with all their hearts. Now, both men, sadly, had fertility issues that became aware after they were looking for a surrogate, so they decided to foster then adopt. So here, we are going to have siblings, Scout and Leon. Now, this is little baby Scout. Well, not baby. She's a toddler, but, oh, don't you just want to pinch her cheeks? He's so cute. <laughs> Scott is just, Scout is just a little ball of fire. She's super into fairies, like... The girl believes she is one. Her room even looks like a little forest. It's honestly the best. <laughs> she was adopted about a year ago, and she has so much energy running around and getting into trouble. She's already picked up cooking from Ray, but let's just say you wouldn't want to eat anything she makes. And even drawing houses alongside Remy, which, she always, which he always makes sure to put in scrapbooks to remember how much he loves her. She just wants to be involved in every way, wanting to get her hands dirty and learn new skills. Look at this. Look at the cute little purple dress. I can't. She's so cute. I love her so, so much. Now we're going on to little Leon. <laughs> well, he doesn't really have too much of a personality yet. Um, he's fairly calm, you know, considering he's a baby. <laughs> but he's just a horrible sleeper. He just can sleep all day and not sleep a wink at night. He's just little and sweet. And the guys have had him too since he was only a couple of days old when they began fostering both him and his sister. Sadly, the biological parents were in no position to take care of the children, so they relinquished their rights and the guys soon after adopted them. And ever since then, they've been traveling the world together as a family. Now, let's go and meet this family in their lovely abode. I am very excited for you guys to see this because it is one of the most unique houses I've ever created. 
I've made family houses, I've made mansions, I've made eco-living greenhou greenhouses, it's just, uh, so many. But this house is a boathouse! Oh, I love it so much. I love it, I love it, and I hope you guys love it too. Now, let's get into it! <laughs> I'm so excited! It took a lot of time and effort with this one, because I learned a new skill from the Sims community, as I had mentioned, I think. I hope I did. But here we have the house! Although it's quite big, when you consider that these people need everything that a normal house needs, but here <laughs> on, on a boat, it's, it's a lot. So I would love to get into the house with you guys. Okay, so the easiest place to start off is outside. Oh, and look, there's one of the uh, cats. Her name is Xenon. Uh, Xena, sorry. Her name is Xena, and she is just a cute little sway stray they found in some island somewhere they have visited. She is just cute, and she has these glowing orange eyes, and she has a kitten, actually. If I can find him, her little kitten, I will show you him. He is just the cutest little ball of fur. Ugh, since they're both black, it's difficult, in the, you know, black flooring. <laughs> but now, let's get into the outside. First things first, we have this beautiful little pool area just nice and little you know if they're ever going anywhere they really can't be in the ocean with the kids not really safe all the time especially if they're docked so it's good to just have like a little pool for the electricity needs they have solar panels and they also have um, a garbage and compost bin for all their waste that they generate uh, and uh, over here we just have this beautiful sitting area with of course food and cocktails which is, you know, Ray's specialty. And beautiful um, fire rock gas fireplace. And just nice seating all around. Now, let me open these up. It's just this door. Uh, oh, there he is. That's little Newton. He has different eyes than his mother. And he is just this cute little furball. He is just that cute little furball. <laughs> oh, looks like they popped out from where they're supposed to be <laughs> so uh now on the first floor we have this beautiful dining area lots of food <laughs> everywhere that's a running theme beautiful decorations it's a very modern house they're a very modern couple they're just like the look of crisp clean grays and golds and blues slight light blue grays and like lots of accents we have this beautiful state-of-the-art kitchen even if you look in the fridge it has everything like everything <laughs> that ray will need to be cooking and making new recipes and lots and lots of wine <laughs> and alcohol this beautiful very um art deco style bar area nice one over here next to this beautiful little fireplace too which i adore and even this nice cool little space back here which you can look at the rudder it's just it would just be such a lovely cozy area in which you're just relaxing <laughs> even modern art back there just lovely and we have also these floating stairs which i love i think they add a minimalism to a space while adding nice modernism while not taking up that much space which works so well in this house because it's a lot it was so difficult even if you look at the table i kind of have it shoved in the back and the kitchen i really had to be careful with where i placed things because for it to function and work i really needed the space to be as maneuverable as possible so oh and this is really cool i love this window i don't know if i spoke on it it just fits so perfectly under every staircase like this i love it such a good <laughs> such a good window now if we go upstairs we have this hallway just some like general things over here you can't really access that area um so we just have over here the kids bedroom so if we first walk in we have this just like sign over here just very rustic and wholesome and we have this cute little balcony out here it's, it's just very relaxing and sweet and just calm nice calm area for the children over on this section that 
that area is very kind of Leon's area. It's light and crisp and just very calm to keep, you know, the baby calm. He's sleeping right now. Him and his sleeping during the day thing. And over here we have the fairy princess's area. <laughs> now, Scout really loves fairies. <laughs> And so I went with like this purple foresty theme. And the thing that I just figured out how to do is make um like the bed on an angle so it fits so well into this space. And it really helped with creating and designing this room because it was so difficult to get things in while making the room feel full while making it functional. Now over here, we just have a bathroom area very modern very clean uh that's, that's kind of a thing i do i kind of keep bathrooms um similar throughout the whole house this is a house that only has two bathrooms one for the kids and one for the adult um very crisp very clean very classy bathtub for the kids you know because kids really can't take showers <laughs> And uh, they even have another little balcony out here where um, I fit this beautiful dollhouse. Also goes with the kind of purple color theme. The outside is a little bit more pinkish than I wanted, but I think it still came out very cute. I love her little space and the little candles and the rug that looks like leaves. Is in, in the bed, it's like fairy specific. Like, not very specific, but very specific. I just think it, it's so wholesome. And I've never had, like, a kid that actually had this bed in one of my builds. And when I saw it, I was like, yes. Like, Scout can have, like, a purple color theme. It, it's just perfect. Even the chandelier. That's a new one, actually. I forgot what pack it came in, but it's fairly new. Um, so, going up the stairs. Here's the stairs right here. We have another door, which leads into the parents' bedroom. They have just this rack of clothing over here and this beautiful, like, separated area for them to just relax after a long day of work. They can do actual work here. This is a favorite spot for Remy to um, get all of his architect drawings out of the way. Um, beautiful wine cubby up here. Another one of those fireplaces, which I did like the diagonal thing to, and just perfect, so perfect. Um, everything here, the bed again is on an angle, another alcohol cart, modern art, and I love the um, glass windows here where it's like meeting in the middle. Ugh, it's just so pretty. I love this bedroom so much. Super modern, super beautiful. Uh, with the bathroom once again it's kind of the same as a kid this is a little bit more luxurious uh but i just love it all in all uh we have instead here some rose gold fixtures which i just thought made the room pop really nicely i really enjoy this a lot um so if we go upstairs, oh, forgot, there's a little piece of modern art right there. If we go up, here is the last level. We have just this nice entryway, beautiful, like, I think it's like an olive tree. I would imagine it's an olive tree, and they, like, got it on one of their adventures, like Greece or something. I don't know where Symtopia, which is what I call this town, would fit on a map. <laughs> you guys will have to tell me, like, what do you guys think where it would be if you were to place it in the world? I think somewhere in the Mediterranean, maybe, maybe in like, I don't know, it, and just somewhere nice, I think, <laughs> I don't know, nice and warm, I think. So here we have the living room. We have a harp over here. I don't know if Ray would pick up the harp, but I would like to imagine that he likes to imagine that he would pick up the harp. <laughs> so that's why that's there. Some toys strewn about, and again, I love the diagonal um feature that i learned about this it's it's a tack technically but oh my god <laughs> it is the absolute best i think it makes the room look even like stronger and prettier and it just fills the room without making it too cluttered or unusable uh over here there's just this nice little fireplace area it's so modern and sleek too this fireplace is absolutely perfect for this house super super cozy the kids could hang out here or the adults 
But what Ray really is into, though, he's really into painting, so he does have his easel out here. Uh, sorry, Remy is into his painting, you know, being the architect and all, so he does his paintings out here. Just a nice little relaxing, beautiful bench. I like to imagine they got this in, like, Japan or something. And just these cool little cactuses. I had no idea why I put them here, but once I put them down, I was like, wow, I love them. And I also love the chandelier. I never really had a use for it. And then I put it and it just fit with the house so well. It didn't take up too much space. It was a nice accent. It was just beautiful. Well, um, <laughs> it's actually one of the shorter builds I've actually done. It was just really difficult making sure that everything I put in this house had functionality and also um, a story element to it making like it's not necessary to have the you know solar panels and compost bin but it makes sense story-wise and I think it that's important details that just brings that build to the next level <laughs> but I want to thank you so much for joining Ray and Remy and Scout and uh, Leon and <laughs> Xena and uh, little Newton so thank you guys so much for joining me. And I just want to tell you guys, you are amazing. You are important. And you are beyond fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.